Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Happy Homeschooler. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 20 Usborne books for school. Because I have so many books and I had to like really narrow it down too because I have a lot of Usborne books for school. But because I wanted to show you guys a lot, I'm going to go through this video really fast, um, just highlighting really quickly each book. So I have 20 total. I'm going to be going through them in categories. So I have like phonics, science, history and geography. I wanted to make it really easy for you guys to see like what books, so if you're looking for a specific type of book, like a history book or a math book, you can easily see the categories. So I'll tell you each category before I go through it. And then at the end, I have two bonus books. They are in that 20 list, but they're two bonus books that are not gonna be in any like school category, but I think they're really good books. And I, for one, think they're a great addition. First up is everyone's favorite subject. Okay, not really, but. <laughs> So we have measuring things and obviously this is in the math category and what I found is that this is a great addition. It's not going to teach math, uh, math concepts per se, but it has measuring all kinds of measurements. Measuring precisely how long. So when I got this book in my mind it was like measuring in inches and centimeters, but it's actually measuring like all kinds of things. Measuring mass, measuring time, speed how hot. So yeah, just lots, lots of different types of measuring. And kids actually remember things better when you have flaps like this. So having a math book with flaps is going to help them to retain the information. And uh, I love that about this book. And obviously we use it a lot because like all these are turned up. And that's just because it's like a good addition to when I am working with my kids on in their math books, they can look through this too. It actually came with this little measuring stick thing, but it ripped because it's pretty fragile, I'm not gonna lie. But it really was convenient and it was fun to pull it out and measure things and then we just use our regular ones now. That was the only math one. Um, I think Osborne does have more math books, but that's the only one that I have purchased. Okay, my next category is language arts. And this book, the Osborne Illustrated Grammar and Punctuation, is amazing. It's been really, really helpful. Um, Sometimes if there's a concept that my kids are having a hard time grasping, I'll find it in the back in the glossary, find the thing, and then I'll go to that page and I'll reread them, like I'll read them a lesson from this. It didn't come with our school books, I bought it separately, but Sunlight does incorporate a lot of us Warren books. However, this one, they didn't incorporate, I just bought it because I knew it would be a helpful tool and it definitely has been, it definitely has come in handy. And I like all the examples they give. So the next category is my biggest category. I think there's about 10 books in this category and it's science. And that's because Osborne is like famous for their science books. They're amazing. They're so well done. They're so clear. And Sunlight incorporates a lot of Osborne in every year. And some of them I just ordered separately because Osborne has great science books. So I've just ordered them throughout the years in addition to what came in my science kits. The very first one is The Usborne Story of Inventions. So funny thing about this one, I was going to buy it and then it actually ended up coming in our school that year, so I didn't have to. The story of inventions is so interesting. It's fun, we learned about the story of like the cat's eyes that go on the road, in the middle of the road, who invented them and why, and how a toilet works and how a vacuum works. And it's got all the inventions, I mean, well, probably not all of them, but it feels like it. There's so many and they're really fun. So. Definitely get this book if you don't already have it. It's a really, really fun read. Next we have See Inside Your Body. This one is another flap one. And you can see all the different insides of all the things. It's really interesting. We use this one quite a lot. This one um, did not come in our school. It didn't come in our science, we just bought it. But it's so interesting. Um, my kids love this one. I think children just enjoy seeing like how the body functions and um, all the different moving pieces. So they can open it up. And if my kids aren't um, grasping a body concept with our school, I will whip this one out and show it on here because it just kind of has the, the lift the flat thing really does help them to get it better. This one came with our science. I don't remember what year, I won't lie, but it is another really good Osborne and it's definitely a little bit more advanced. That's clearly like a lot of really good information about how the human body works, the complete book of the human body. Okay, next one is one of my favorites. It was the 
big book of stars and planets. And this one was really fun when I was teaching astronomy last year. And this book really came in handy as like an added tool, but they have pictures of the universe and it folds open and it's just really, really awesome. They have all these different things you can see. So if you have an astronomy lover or if you teach in astronomy and you like some additional resources, awesome book for that. The next one I have is the Usborne Outdoor Book. This one's really fun for outdoor activities, obviously. But um, my son will grab this, my first grader will grab this, and it's taught him how to like make crab traps. It's taught him how to make homemade bird feeders, all kinds of just like little easy things. And I love that they have pictures kind of like detailing it too. So you can see, even though um, my five-year-old and my seven-year-old will be going through this and these are a little bit difficult to read, they can like understand it without words. And then this is fun. We've definitely gone on leaf hunts and looked for the leaves. Um, so this is a really fun outdoor activity book, definitely for kids. The weather and climate change book is one I am going to be going through with my seventh grader this year. So we haven't actually gone through this one yet, but I'm really excited to because I definitely think it's um, really interesting and I'm excited for him to get to learn more about the weather and how climate works and all of the things. I've looked through it, but I haven't like studied it, studied it yet. So I'm really excited for that and definitely recommend this one. The Marvels and Mysteries of Science tells you down here in the corner internet link and it gives you a link and you go to their website and you can, they have um, YouTube videos related to whatever the, they're teaching. And it's really, really helpful because we'll do it a lot for the animals in particular and we can like see whatever they're teaching about that animal. We can go and like look it up and watch it in action, which is really fun. And it kind of breaks up your day too. So love that. This is another really good one for science. We have 10 more total, three more for science. And then we move into sociology, history, and geography. And then my special to add on at the end. I have another astronomy and space one. And the first one I showed you is like more, I feel like an addition to like if you were taking a course on it or if you want to show your little, little kids it, if they wanted to like have more information about space and astronomy. This is the one that came in our fifth grade science. So we did astronomy in fifth grade for my son and this book came with it. It's just a lot more detail. So we've got Neptune, Pluto, asteroids, and exploring space. So those got a lot of categories, but again, way more detailed than the other one. Way more information, like just way more information than this one had. Although this one had a lot of awesome graphics and I love the way it opened up and like could show you guys all of it inside. So more for little children, more for advanced. If you have a kid that likes microscopes as much as my kids do, which is a lot, this is such a fun book because you get all these different ideas on teaching about how to use a microscope, but also like what things look like, how they look different under a microscope. Super, super fun. Also internet linked because all the best ones are. This one is like a little baby book, but it came in our fifth grade as well. This one is Electricity and Magnetism. This is a really fun book. I feel like the pictures make it look really simple, but it's actually kind of like a little bit deeper and it came with our fifth grade school. This goes in um, conjunction with a couple other Osborne science books we have. Or that brings us to the end of science. Now we're on to sociology and I only have one book in the sociology category and it's here and there. So I'll be honest, I wish I had more in this category. I don't know why I only have one, but I do. So I'm showing it to you guys. I'm going to now order more. Now that I know that I only have one, I'm gonna order more. But this one's a really fun book because it teaches like, shows you grocery shopping in North America, grocery shopping in Indonesia. I mean, how cool is this? So I love it because the kids get to see, um, especially right now since we can't really travel, but I like to let my kids see the different things and the different ways that kids play. So Norway, Hong Kong. Ooh, this was a fun one. Around the world, what are you eating for lunch? I mean, how different is that? It's pretty awesome. So this is a really fun sociology book. If you haven't already got this one, you should get it. And then I'll let you guys know, I'll probably do another video, an upcoming video of more Usborn books because I'm probably gonna do like a big purchase soon. Um, it's just that time of year. I haven't bought in a while, so I'm gonna buy some more. I hope you guys are enjoying all these books. I love Osborne. I don't sell Osborne, so the, the links I have below for you guys are to like a party from a friend. But if I do start selling Osborne, I will put 
my links down below and you guys can email or purchase them but you could always email in and ask me to when my link is down there you'll, you'll be able to contact me through the Usborne website but right now you would be contacting my friend Kristen and ask her questions if you guys have questions you can also put them in the comments because I own a lot of Usborne this is not all this is just part of my stash I love their books Next category is history and geography. And I do have a little bit more in this category, much more than sociology. I love this book because it's actually the very first Usborne book I ever purchased. I, it was like a long time ago. So I got this book like seven years ago. And I, uh, at the time we were a single income family and I was super broke and I got introduced to Usborne and I could only buy one book. And that was hard. I was very, very sad. <laughs> But this is the book I chose and I love it. I still do. We take the shot because it was falling apart, but it's amazing and beautiful. And I love that it shows different. It highlights different things throughout the world in on the different continents and in the different islands and states. And it's, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. This also has like a sticker book. And I love that because the kids can like put the stickers in the right spots on the book, really cool. And I love that because then the kids are like reading like, oh, what country does this go to? And then I put the sticker in the right spot. So it kind of helps them to just like remember where that thing is. I mean, everyone knows pandas are in China. However, it's still good. Like the other things they might not remember are in China. So um, things like that. This one came in our first grade curriculum. It is the Esmeralda Book of World History. Um, we love this book. I'm just gonna say there are authentic pictures in here. And if you're somebody who likes to like um, it, it's a little bit more cautious on like the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, modesty aspect of, um, ancient history. Uh, you could go look through this first before your child and, and adjust anything that you don't feel is appropriate. I personally don't mind it, um, because I feel like it's art and it's, it, it is showing accurate, like accurate pictures of the time. So that's my personal opinion on it. I don't care what everyone else does. If you want to put stickers over body parts, uh, that's totally up to you. I just don't, but if you're somebody who wants to do that, you would definitely want to preview this book first. Um, however, it does have so much good information. The images are really well done. The graphics are beautiful and it is really well taught. It's a really good book. So the next one didn't come with our school. I have it separately. Usborne State Capitals. This one is awesome, especially good if you're doing like state studies. I'll always have my kids pull this out and look at this one first before they dive deeper if necessary. But I love it because it shows like state flower, state bird, population, state population, and then um, the large cities. So, and it's got this little date entered in the union, which is kind of like a fun addition. So I really love this. It's definitely like a big picture. You know, it's not like a, like a whole unit study on the states but it is a good resource as an addition to that and it's really easy for little little kids so we just have this on our bookshelf and the kids look at it and we enjoy it i have two history books so this one is like hefty it came in fifth grade <laughs> and it is obviously world wars it can be a little bit sad if you if your child is sensitive i would read it pre-read it because um it just had a lot of facts <laughs> and a lot of um true information and the truth about World War II is not pretty. This is a really good book, but just be aware of that. So Living Long Ago is really good. It's for little children. It came in my kindergartner's curriculum. So this is fun. It's just teaching like, okay, first food and then um, foods and food facts, travel and transportation. So this is a really good book for little kids. Um, like what were the first cars like? How did people travel? And it is a really fun, really sweet book. And then my bonus two books. These two are not in any of the curriculums. This one is Managing Your Money. And I wish that schools taught this better, but they don't. So I got this for my 12 year old. I think it'll be really good for him. He's read part of it. Um, it is not like a fun read, right? So it's not something he's like flying through, 
but I do think it's a really good book to have and I definitely think it's a good book to have your children read and to read for yourself. It does a little quiz and it's like, do you do this with your money or this? Do you do this or this? And then it kind of tells you like what your personality is or what if you're like a saver or a spender. It teaches how credit cards work. It teaches just different aspects of handling your money, managing your money as the title says. So it's a really good book and I definitely would recommend it adding it to your school. And then the next one is a spies guidebook. I think this is fun. I think coding and secret messages are something that's always interesting that's why there's so many books and movies and it's used throughout all of history that's why but it's super fun i read this book i really enjoyed it and it teaches some different ways to code it teaches some different just super super basic patterns and codes and i think this is a really good book to have in your like bookshelf to have in your stash of books because it's a good book and it teaches something interesting and if you have a kid that likes to do secret messages or codes like i did when i was a kid this is like perfect gift i hope you liked all of these awesome Usborn books like, like i said before if you have any questions or comments about the books share with them below i mean if you're an Usborn fan already awesome if you're not you should be by now after watching this video i know it's not as good as having them in person but the books are truly phenomenal i really recommend them all thanks so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys on the next video